Hey everybody and welcome to my JR Jumpstart Pack Power Pack version 2.0 uh, JR because I stole this idea from James Ritchie, my good friend who knows where he got it from um, Right, these Jumpstart Packs come off of eBay They're roughly about £35, £38 give or take Two variants of them, one doesn't have the... Uh, compressor in the back and one does this one had it now they come with 12 volt uh, batteries 17 amp hours so that's roughly 204 watts of power at 12 volt if you run it for one hour now you're not going to use that kind of volume whilst fishing and that's what we use these for we want them for a little bit of bright light for five ten minutes at a time and we also want to run a lead um, for a strip light for X amount of time, which uses like oh, about 10 watts of power, if you're lucky, an hour. That wasn't supposed to run. Anyway, so what have we got different? So this pack here, I've taken out the little stupid bulb that we had, and I've put in a 20 watt uh, LED light. I'm not going to blind it. There we go. That's what that switch is for. It's got the original... Um, me out when it settles down. Uh, charge station on and off for the charging. That's the button for the voltmeter. That is for my internal 220 volt uh, inverter. Uh, modified sine wave as well. So I'm not overly fast. They're about 10 15 quid. A uh, little switch there which controls the 12 volt sockets. Uh, that's just a little plug-in socket there uh, just to do -do. at the bottom you'll see we've got one little socket there one little socket there we run our lights via a um, RCA connector and there's a little switch at the bottom on and off it makes no difference it's that on or off there's no power drain whatsoever on them too because um, that's on a complete independent circuit uh, what else we got right on the rear side here like I say this had a uh, compressor inside it I've completely gutted it funny enough it's there I was testing it from a 12 volt and I took that little circuit compartment that used to have the uh, compressor lead in it the hose I put in a little electrical socket in there glued it all in and fixed it like you say you can see where I've cut all the bits and pieces off just grind it down etc and that's a great little place to put your cables and if I didn't drop them oh, your charge control cables so they'll go quite nicely they'll go quite nicely trying to do this one hand ain't good there you go so that goes in there um so we've got an inverter in the back I put it in a little waterproof case just to keep it safe I don't want to spill any water or anything in there that will still kill you uh, 12 volt we don't really care that's just a nice little tickle on the tongue uh, solar charge controller so we've got the solar panels battery and, and the outlet the USB controllers on the front when you plug in your solar, char solar chargers it goes in there and that's how you turn it on and off. So that's off now. So my solar panel charger at the back. Uh, charge controller even. That's off. I'll flip the switch back on. And it comes on to play. Now the beauty of having this to charge my batteries. Is I can plug in 18 volts in there. Because these batteries need about 13.6 to 14 volts to charge. Because um, the, the Sealed lead batteries, batteries, the sealed lead. I can't say it. <laughs> sealed lead and acid batteries. So, yeah, so you can plug in an 18 volt on that, a 14 volt. It doesn't matter. Anywhere between 12 to 18 volts. You don't want to go any higher than 18 volts because that's what your solar panels normally go up to, and that's an 18 volts charge control unit. And, um, yeah, it, that's the beauty of it. You can also obviously plug that into your car, like I showed earlier. Right, so the inverter uh, on this side, 
So that's wired directly to the battery via a 60 amp breaker. I always turn it off because there is still a drain on the inverter because there's little LED lights on standby mode. So turn it on, make sure it's working, and then I switch on inverter. You can hear that's up and running. You can hear it in the background. Okay. Right, let's just give it a quick test. So I've got my little Dremel there. That was very quick. Here we go. Ooh, there. There. Now my Dremel is only 170 watts. So we're not complaining about that. So that works. Let's turn it off. Okay, turn them both off. And what else have we got on here? Oh yes, my little inverter underneath. So in there is the inverter. Now I've changed it so that, or not changed it, I've moved it. So that underneath, you've got your inverter inside, which you just about see. Got a fan coming through so it's cooling the fan, cooling the battery etc and then also I've got this here and that's the original connection poles to the um, inverter and that runs directly to the battery as we say so if I want to give my battery a bit of a jump start I just need a cable which I haven't got at the moment um, I don't know what I've done with it oh, yeah, here we go. so you need like a banana clip That'll connect on there. I can connect it to my battery, nothing too exciting really. And then that will just give my battery on my car a bit of a boost, nothing too exciting. It might be just enough to give it a bit of a crank. And of course you can always charge it up with your solar panels. Um, and that's it, that is my unit. And um, yeah, just to prove that a couple of bits work. So, crudely wired up. how loud that thing was um, a battery for ah, the phone so again that one there uh, turn it on there we go so that's running there you go job done uh, if you've got any questions give us a shout like and subscribe and uh, thank you very much that's so so Take care of yourself. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye, bye-bye.